Hey y'all, welcome to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Uh, today we're going to be having the Florida Sun Grown by Drew Estate. Uh, happy holidays and stick around and find out what we have going on, y'all. Welcome back again to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. That's Maddie. I'm Mike. And today we're going to be discussing the first of a three-part series on becoming a true diplomat. Uh, folks, that's really big for us. Um, we did it organically, uh, meaning we let the customers uh, decide our fate. Uh, some stores around the country just spend one lump sum, get the product in to become a member. We just decided to see if... Um, we could do it organically and we did and so I want to throw a shout out to Ben Pearson our rep in the area I uh, want to thank him for um, helping us along the way in this last calendar year to get where we're at we're really uh, proud of what we've achieved and the cigar we're gonna feature in the first segment is the Florida Sun Grown and I kind of want to kick it over to Maddie now and uh, Maddie kind of just give us a, the viewers a brief description of the tobacco that comprises this cigar yeah, so this is going to be a medium full cigar. Uh, there is Nicaraguan filler. Uh, it's a Brazilian wrapper. And that Florida Sun Grown name is actually, there's some uh, accent tobacco is what they put on it, of actually uh, U.S. Florida grown tobacco in it, which is really, really neat. Florida has a really interesting tobacco history. In fact, uh, there's a town called Havana, Florida, because they could say tobacco grown in Havana uh, and mean Florida and not my, and not you know Cuba of course. So yeah, it's bringing back a lot of the history that Florida has with tobacco and bringing it into a new product for us to enjoy now. And you know, just briefly, I'm I'm starting. I'm, I'm about a third of the way into this cigar, and I picked up kind of a weird note that that I don't usually get. Uh, but I kind of get a hint of macadamia nut. At first, I thought it was a little nutmeg, but I think a little. It's an interesting smoke. How about you? What are you? What are you getting in the first third? Yeah, um, everybody's taste is a little di bit different, and this is a key example because I'm getting like a lot of like just an earthiness. Earth, yeah. I'm getting a lot of earth in this one, which is kind of you know, meh. But uh, I'm getting a lot of the earthiness in it, and don't know where that's coming from. In all honesty, but. Yeah. We'll keep smoking and let you know what we find out in the in the second third here. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. This is our Christmas edition here, as you can see with the tree behind us. Um, we've smoked into these now. We're kind of into the second third. And for me, the one thing that, that, that sticks out now is just probably one of the most well-balanced cigars I've smoked in the last year. Um, Maddie, how about, how about you? Yeah, this one, it's just been consistent all the way through. Um, the tobacco on it's been burning evenly. I haven't had to do any touch-ups or relights on it. This is just a good smoke if you're, like, for instance, I do a lot of uh, woodworking and stuff like that. So whenever I do woodworking, this would be a perfect cigar because it's going to be consistent all the way through. I don't have to worry about relighting it. Um, but also I can sit there and still enjoy a cigar while I'm doing other things as well. Yeah, the mechanics, folks, I call it the mechanics. I don't know, it's probably not the right term, but what I've, just what Maddie described. Look, I've lit this thing once. It draws effortlessly. It's a creamy smoke. It burns evenly. Like she said, no relighting, no hassle. Um, this is kind of what you get. Like the last segment we did, a three-part series, was our budget-friendly cigars that are good quality this is what you get when you really get into a premium well-known cigar and everyone knows that whole diplomat series whether it's Liga whether it's this Florida Sun Grown whether it's the Pappy Van Winkle cigar these are these are just outstanding cigars some of the best on the market we're a little late coming to it becoming a, a diplomat uh, now but for our customers we wanted to feature this so um, and price point Maddie on on these yeah so this cigar is fifteen dollars and fifty cents in our humidor here um, it's 
it's still with it's a little bit above that eight to twelve dollar range that you're usually looking at for a cigar but it's well worth i think it's well worth it even though it's about two three dollars yeah. and you three. just don't find these in every cigar store so you know part of the um rareness of it is because you just don't find it everywhere so uh we're, we're like i said we're really pleased uh, um have worked with Ben and Drew State in this last year to achieve this status. So thanks to everyone out there. All right, folks, that much anticipated segment of the show, the try, buy, or deny. Look, for me, it's hands down. This is a slam dunk, 100%. Everybody needs to try the Florida Sun Grown um, because it's not everywhere. But it's a, definitely a try, a buy, a smoke, buy as many as you can get your hands on. That's how good it is, folks. Maddie? Uh, for me, this is definitely in that tribe and buy category too. Uh, it's a really nice and easy smoke. It's got, it's still got a little bit of that medium profile, which I love a more full-bodied smoke. So this isn't like, you know, I'm not going to be sitting here whew, for a couple of minutes, but it's also not so light that I don't really, you know, I can't really do much with it either. So this is definitely within that category for me here. Um, Thank you all for watching uh, Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and check out our website as well. We have a newsletter, and you can be informed on future events. And remember, here at Santino's, we drink, we smoke, we and we know things. things. Have fun, y'all.